Do you ever miss the good old days? It's Sunday afternoon, it's beautiful weather outside, and you're going to grandma's house. You get a fresh baked cookie or pie, maybe a glass of ice cold sweet tea. Well, this recipe is gonna take you right back to those days. Today, we are gonna be making a traditional, old fashioned lemon icebox pie. Today's ingredients list includes two large lemons, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, two eggs, a package of graham crackers, and one container of sweetened condensed milk. We're gonna start off by making the crust. You need your graham crackers and a pie pan. Take five graham crackers, crush them up, and they just go across the bottom of the pan. Next, we're gonna take the remaining graham crackers break them into quarters, and put them around the edge of the pan, making an outer crust. We're going to separate the egg yolks from the egg white. We're gonna put the egg yolks in a larger bowl. When I do this, I find the easiest way to separate them is to use the eggshell. So I just kind of swap it back and forth between the shell and let the white fall out into the bowl. Now we're gonna put the yolk. Go ahead and bust up the egg yolks, mix them up just in case they're still whole in your bowl. And then we're gonna add the condensed milk. Condensed milk is nice and thick. It's got great flavor. It's extremely sweet. Here in the South, we like to put this on top of our snow cones. We're gonna mix this up real well. So we're not gonna bake this pie, but it still has egg in it and the egg is going to be cooked because when we add the lemon juice, the acid reacts to that and it cooks the egg. So now let's juice these lemons and add the lemon juice in. A lemon juicer should keep most of the seeds from going into your lemon juice. If you do happen to get some seeds in there, we can pick those out with a fork once we finish juicing the lemons. Let's fold our lemon juice into the condensed milk mixture. Folding is really just flipping your mixture in the bowl. It's more gentle than stirring something in. You just wanna keep folding this until it mixes thoroughly. It should not be runny, but it will be slightly thinner than the finished product, which it will thicken when it sits in the refrigerator. Once you're finished folding, pour it on top of your graham cracker crust. Spread it out nice and evenly to make sure the entire crust is covered on the bottom. Now let's mix up some meringue to go on top of our pie. We need the two egg whites that we separated earlier and the tablespoon of granulated sugar. Now we're just gonna whip it up. Once you're finished whipping, you'll have stiff peaks on your meringue. It's going to be real fluffy and you're gonna spread it out across the top of your pie. Now for the final touches. If you have a blowtorch, this is a great time to get it out and use it for the top of your meringue. Otherwise, we're gonna put it in the oven and broil it. Turn your oven on broil, stick the pie in. Be sure to keep an eye on it because broil cooks fast and all you want are brown tips on your meringue. And there you have it, a beautifully golden lemon icebox pie. Now that it's out of the oven, we're gonna transfer it to the refrigerator and let it sit for about an hour. In the meantime, invite your friends over, your family over, and then sit down and enjoy this beautiful pie and reminisce about the good old days. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date and notified of all our new videos.